What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video, and because there are a lot of new players coming into GeoGuess at the moment, and because I'm over at the World Cup right now, I wanted to share with you one tip for every single country in GeoGuessr. Of course there are only 200 countries in the world, but there are about 70 inside GeoGuessr, so grab your pen and paper, screenshotting tool, whatever you want, because we're going to jump into things right now, starting off in North America. My first tip of the day is from Saskatchewan province where you get this white triangle on the side of their wooden signposts for stop signs. So to the best of my knowledge, most stop signs should have that in Saskatchewan, especially on the wooden signposts. And you also don't get that anywhere else in Canada. The USA has tons of different bollards, but this one here, which is on a metal post and has a black outline with a white rectangle is easily most common in the state of Nevada. Moving on to Mexico, if you ever see blinding white soil as the road or on the side of the road, then you are very likely to be in the region of Yucatan and specifically the state of Quintana Roo. My tip for Guatemala is that they often have poles that are painted pink at the bottom. This is very rare to see in Mexico and it's something you see on a good proportion of signs in Guatemala. So if you're playing no moving, padding or zooming can be very useful indeed. Over in the Dominican Republic, the license plates are often slightly yellow at the top and white at the bottom. And that is the same for both of the major cities there. Panama just got added to Google Street View and you can always see this white pickup truck with the ribbed antenna. There are different views of the truck you can get. Sometimes it looks slightly different, but you should always have some variant of it. If you ever get around in Costa Rica, which is pretty rare, then you should be in a trekker, which is the backpack coverage, and you should be able to see some kind of green mountains in the background. Generally speaking, you're going to be somewhere in San Jose, the capital. If you're ever not quite sure if it's Ecuador or Colombia, it's safer to guess in Colombia if you're on a dirt road. They simply did more coverage on dirt roads in Colombia, and that's the reason. Ecuador's a country that uses a real combination of red brick and white brick, but what one can definitely say is that the use of cinder block bricks like this is much more commonly found in Ecuador than Colombia. As for Peru, we have these little electricity counters, which are different to all the rest of the ones in South America. They have these two slits at the top, which makes it kind of look like a mini door. They're often slightly blue or just metal, and you can find them all over the country, nowhere else else. Very good tip. Bolivia, like most countries in South America, normally uses some yellow lines, but as you can see there, the number one leading into La Paz actually has all white road lines for this stretch. Chile, like Spain, uses these flat signposts for its traffic signs, which is quite a good way to differentiate it from the rest of the South American countries. If you see vineyards and massive mountains to your west in Argentina, then you're very likely to be somewhere right near Mendoza or somewhere in the Mendoza province. For whatever reason, when they covered Uruguay on Google Street View, it was very cloudy. So most Uruguayan rounds will have a black car and a lot of clouds. If you see this particular camera glitch with the purple and pink pixels, then you are most likely to be in the southern state of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil. <laughs> These yurt style of houses are very, very common in the country of Lesotho. Likewise, surrounding Lesotho in South Africa, particularly to the south, you get a lot of those houses too. Here we are just outside Lesotho in South Africa. Here's one such a house. And on the other side of the road, we can see another five here. But of course, in the generation two camera with the wide blur at the bottom, you have to be in South Africa. Eswatini has this one particular national park, which looks quite a lot like Botswana. I think the best way to get it here is the fact that we have this golden grass, which is easily most common in the country of Eswatini. The road in the Northwest district of Botswana is very distinctive because as a power line road that runs along the whole thing and also this little white trail which can go either side of the road as well. So this whole road here in the northwest of the country becomes quite distinctive. If you see masking tape on the side of the car in Kenya then you're most likely to be somewhere near the capital Nairobi. In Uganda you get this very interesting coverage with long grass up on the border with South Sudan. You get some hills here this is the general landscape and it's all the way in the northeast of the country. In Nigeria you'll almost always have some kind of police car following you, almost always they'll be either black or white and have these red and blue lights on top. The road that leads to Tamale just south of it here near Gabun has the reddest soil in all of Ghana in my opinion and generally speaking this road is unpaved as well. Normally in Ghana you'll have the silver Google car but this white one is generally speaking more common in the west of the country particularly southwest. So this region south of the Gambia has a lot of them. You can rarely find yourself in Antananarivo which is the capital city of Madagascar but if you do find yourself there this is what the city looks like and you can often see some purple flowers from the jacaranda trees which could help you guess that but it's quite a cool and vast city so hopefully you can just recognize it from this. Rwanda is one of the new countries to get added to GeoGuessr and it has a very hazy sky generally speaking in Kigali so you can definitely distinguish it from the other big cities in eastern Africa that way. In the southern two-thirds of Tunisia you have this Mazda following you but if you want to get super cheeky this map in the front window is only found in two cities. Those are Sfax and Gabez in the south. That's going to get you some nice scores if your opponent doesn't know it. 
It can be really hard to guess in outback Australia like this, but one particular town which is easy to get is Gascoigne Junction. And this is the reason, because they covered the whole town with the trunk open. So you'll always be able to see this Holden logo, which is actually just a rebranded Opal Astra. Now granted, Gascoigne Junction is a very small town, but it's so far in the middle of nowhere in Western Australia that if you pick this correctly, you're gonna get huge points. In New Zealand, this dark blue slash purple Google car is only found in the North Island for now. So you can get some free points whenever you see that one come up against your opponent. Bali is one of the easiest places to guess in Indonesia because most of the roofs have these little Buddhist shrines on them, as well as the fact that on the poles they have this square tab sticking out from under the crossbar. Both of those are relatively unique to Bali. Palawan Island is one of those places in GeoGuessers that's really hard to guess correctly, but if you recognize that you're in the Philippines and you also see this very red soil, then it could be the best option. This is Palawan Island here. It's very far from the rest of the Philippines, so you can pick up great points, but do bear in mind there is some red soil elsewhere. In Singapore, it's really common to have stuff written all over the road. So here we can see a head, there's a bump, stop, basically a whole lot of Singapore rounds will have some kind of English language written on the road, which you would not see in Indonesia or Malaysia. I'm gonna split this video into two, but here is the final tip for this one. We have this gray bin with the green lid. This one is exclusive to the southern half of Peninsula Malaysia. You can sometimes see it in KL, but generally speaking, Malacca and Johor are the places you're most likely to see that bin. Okay, in the next video, we'll cover Asia, the Middle East, East and Europe. Stay tuned for that one. Do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, goodbye.